If you're one of the Oklahoma producers that's going to plant some summer annuals this spring, perhaps after a failed wheat crop, then I'd really like to have you think through what's the plan for that hay crop or that pasture before you put the seed in the ground. And the reason I say that's because of the potential for those kinds of summer annuals to accumulate one of two toxins, either prussic acid or nitrates. They're very different, but yet either one can occur in some of the summer annuals. Prussic acid will occur when we have some drought stress or when we have frost-bitten forages standing out in the pasture. Prussic acid is one that when we cut the crop for hay and let it cure completely, we really reduce the risk of that staying in the hay crop. Nitrate, on the other hand, if it accumulates in the forage, and we cut it for hay, the nitrate stays in the hay and will be there next winter when we go to uh, feed that particular hay crop. If you look at this particular table, this is accumulation of over uh, 1,800 samples from three different experiment stations across the state. And what we found was that if stressed, we had a very high proportion of the pearl millet samples that accumulated high levels of nitrates, over 40% whereas as it's much lower in the case of sorghum sudans, sorgo sudans, or sudan by sudan hybrids. That tells me that if we're going to plant this crop with the plan that it's going to be cut for hay, then I think we want to go with one of the sorghum sudans, sudan by sudans, or sorgo sudan hybrids rather than the pearl millets. If I'm going to plant it with the thought in mind that I'm going to graze it next fall, then I think the pearl millets certainly come back into uh, favor as one of the uh, options that we want to consider. I hope this gives you a little better idea of what you might want to look for as you're purchasing the seed this spring for those summer annuals that will help you get a good hay crop that's safe to feed next winter. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow Calf Corner.